I gotta miss you when you go. I'll miss you too, Ron. But you're wrong if you think that the joy of life comes principally from human relationships. God's placed it all around us. It's in everything, in anything we can experience. People just need to change the way they look at those things. People don't know what they are. Uh, people really don't know what kind of a being they are. And because of that, which is in many cases kept purposely away from them, they're manipulated. How can you uh, get a grasp of your own life and take any kind of control of your own experience if you don't know who you are, where you are, or the nature of the world you're living in? And this information for me is by far the most important. The chief responsibility you have to do is to know what you are and be a human being, not a human doing. If we truly knew what we were, we would never do what we're doing. Although our package of tin and bones looks very convincing, it is a mask, an illusion, disguising our true self, which has no limitations. Every physical, visible force is merely a manifestation of one of these great invisible streams of energy that flunk functions in space. To the ancients, the Earth had invisible principles. The Earth was not merely a lump. The whole planet is a vast organism, a tremendous vital dynamic structure. For as the ancients put it, the Earth is alive. God did not create the universe. God became the universe. The human being and the universe itself are both one and the same phenomena. Um, in other words, every human being is a miniature universe and each of us contains within us all the forces and possibilities of the greater universe. Your eyes are the eyes of the universe. And when you look at an object, it's the universe looking at itself through those eyes.
space within us, the pure conscious mind within us, and outer space are all one being, that we're all part of this huge, wonderful, infinite quantum holographic universe that's awake. 